when it comes to vacations, you always start with the basic premise slash prejudice. It's going to be amazing. No matter the type, staying at home or going someplace, amazing. Escape from routine, work-related stress, annoying colleagues or customers, control freak supervisor or a boss that calls for a meeting five minutes before the end of your shift. What's on the list this year? Preferably a budget-friendly place, warm, slow and beautiful with a big emphasis on budget friendly. What better during Canadian winter than Puerto Rico? Recent hurricanes and earthquakes scared the tourists away, brought the prices down and slashed the flight cost in half. From New York, of course. Having a sister in New York is extremely convenient. Let's make it a family trip, huh? Toronto, New York, New York San Juan, an hour and a half drive and ferry just to get to our final destination, Vieques. A small island six miles off the east coast of Puerto Rico, a land of horses, amazing beaches, a few retired people. You can't really think of a better way to escape winter for a couple of days couple. Whenever someone says couple of something, I'm never sure if they mean specifically two or a few. And when I say couple of days in Vieques, this time I specifically mean two. We did book four, however. Four days of driving around on the golf cart. Amazing beaches. Incredible sunsets. Humidity and heat that I wholeheartedly miss in cold and dry Toronto. And did I mention horses? And horses. And horses rolling in sand then some more horses. Horses on the main square. Horses in the backyard. And sunsets. Amazing sunsets. And sunsets with horses in them. Equally, if not more amazing. But four days in Vieques, definitely too much. Never enough heat, never enough beauty or swimming, but enough to stop noticing horses on every step. Enough to break the budget as prices are close to prices in New York. And enough to break the plastic on a little golf cart and budget furthermore. Looking back on this paradise from the ferry on our way back to the mainland, I couldn't help but blame myself for bad planning. What an experience this could have been if we only planned a bit better. Smaller Airbnb, less days, and more people for sure. And as the cherry on top, when we arrived to San Juan on the day of our flight, I realized we should have spent more time here. Best espresso I've had in my life. Proper bitterness with zero sourness, unlike acid in all these modern hipster coffee shops. Beautiful, colorful streets that reminded me of my hometown, Puerto Rican flags everywhere, old and young artists, strange aesthetics of infamous La Perla, And did I mention cats? And cats.
cats sleeping in the streets. And then some more cats. Cats on the city stairs. Cats on the roofs. And sunsets. Amazing sunsets. Vacations come with mixed bag of feelings. Feeling of excitement when planning them. Feeling of anxiety when approaching them. Blended feeling of frustration, pleasure and happiness when on them. And feeling of sadness when leaving them. Same exact pattern of feelings I felt with Vieques. And in the end, would I recommend spending some days in Vieques if in Puerto Rico? Absolutely. A couple.